what I'm going to try and do here is take this old cowboy hat of mine. I've had it since high school and um, see if I can get it back in shape. It's pretty bad. To do this at home, what I'm using is I'm just, I've just got an iron that's for my steam. I have my hat and then this is a, a hat stiffener agent. The reason why I'm not using starch or hairspray is because it can actually um, leave residue on the hat, um, do all sorts of weird things to the hat. This doesn't really cost that much. It's about 10 bucks for a bottle. It's supposed to do wonders. Before you begin anything, you want to make sure you clean the hat. What I did was I just took some packaging tape and I went around and got all the dust and dirt off the hat that I could. This hat was pretty dirty when I started, so the next thing that I'm going to want to do here is get the, the, the main part of the hat here back to as smooth and round as possible. Now you would normally have a hat press that you would stick this into and it would help you smooth this out. I don't have that type of tool. I did find a soccer ball in one of the kids' rooms that uh, forms pretty nicely to the inside of this hat, so I'm going to use, I'm going to attempt it with this. So first thing, this says it will not yellow or flake off. I need to coat the hat in it. You want to do liberal amounts of this stuff. Okay, so you'll notice that I've kind of been working this rim up a little bit as the my spray dries out a little bit. And the reason why I'm doing that is because the, the brim should be kind of curving up on the hat uh, naturally as you form it. So um, I've sprayed a lot of this. I'm gonna go ahead and try and shape the top. It's still a little damp. What we actually do is go ahead and try and push that out center as it hardens. So I'm going to let this spray dry for a bit and then I'll come back to this in a little while. When I come back we'll steam this and try and stretch out some of these grooves and divots in the hat. It's funny to think my head's about the size of a soccer ball. Okay, so I've soaked this down uh, pretty good and then I let it uh, dry out for about, I'd say I let it dry for about an hour and then I came back in here a couple minutes ago and just give it another little quick spray over. And the main point is that I'm getting this stuff uh, down into the hat so it will help harden as the hat dries. My next step is I'm gonna go ahead and try and get, you can see there's a lot of wrinkles in this hat. I'm gonna try and get those out of there. What I'm gonna do is, now that I've sprayed that, I'm gonna let that kind of dry for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up our iron. Once this gets heated up, what we'll do is we'll put some steam on this and try and stretch uh, at the top a little bit and pull these fibers to get rid of some of these kinks that are going on in there. Let's see. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get some steam all up in the top room of the hat here. I just realized that I didn't record a lot of that. Uh, basically, where it stopped recording, I took the iron, steamed the top of the hat right here, and just steamed around it really good, and then pushed it and stretched I, with the, the ball inside the hat. I basically just stretched the felt with my fingertips and stretched out all of the wrinkles. And in between uh, each thing that I did, I also sprayed it with the, um, the hat stiffener. 
that helps to help hold everything that I just stretched out into place. Um, after I got it stretched out, I kind of held the hat here, took two fingers and I just pulled along. You can kind of see on this side where that comes out, but that way I'm getting a nice even crease down the center. So it looked like there was just one big crease like a button right here. And then I came back in and in between each thing that I did, I steamed the hat because if you don't steam it, it's not going to um, work correctly. So <clears throat> after creating that crease, spray it with stiffener, steam it, and then I came in and I kind of worked this backside in here. And when I do that, this little dome here isn't going to be here. It's just going to be flat. But I kind of worked all of this in with my fingers and everything that I did here was hand formed because I don't have a hat form or anything like that. To get the creases here, I started out with two fingers and kind of pulled back, but I decided I want, wanted that crease to be a little more defined. And so I went back eventually with one finger and just kind of pulled back and really got a deeper crease there and a, and a smaller uh, front, front there. After each move, I spray it with the stiffener and then before I do the next move, I steamed it. Um, to get this dome up here, I started out by pushing some fingers up on the inside and kind of working the dome into place. And then I went over in front of a mirror and I actually pressed the hat on top of my head to form the dome. Um, this dome is important because your head has to fit up in there somehow. And so uh, you have to have some sort of raised dome here in the center. And I'm gonna actually check that here in a second because it doesn't look like it's quite as high as it needs to be. Now, to do the, the rim, my rim was all over the place. So what I actually did was I held the rim along the edge here and I ironed it with the steam and the iron and got the whole thing as flat as possible. And with these hats, they kind of have a hat slouch, slouch hat effect, which means that uh, when you do that, they're gonna kind of curve it's all gonna kind of flop downward. In order to get these creases here, I went back and again, after ironing it out, stiffener, um, but in order to get these creases here, I went back and I brought the iron along where I wanted to do my crease. And I did it on the top and then I flipped it over. And I also ran it along the crease there. And then I just really, again, hand formed it push the crease into place where I wanted it, and then really work that crease in. Um, I might do a little work on that crease here in a second just to show you. Uh, and then right here, I'd like the front of my hat to kind of dip down a little bit. So I kind of just pulled that up with my hands to really help work in that nice smooth drop in the front. One of the things that I wanted to just double check, the hat starting to dry and become stiff. I wanted to check my front, or I wanted to check my dome on my head. So what I'm going to do to check it, uh, this unplugged, I'm going to plug that in. Hopefully me telling you how I did all this with kind of pulling this out to get the crease and then forming my backside, working with the dome, pulling my fingers down to get these creases. Um, and then to get the definition here, you just kind of go along and pinch. And again, you want to you want to steam it before you do anything else. So you just do one thing at a time, one step at a time, steam it, spray it, and then um, come back to do any additional forming that you want to do. So I want to make sure that this is going to have a proper um, raised area in the center of the hat. So I'm going to try it on my head. But I'm going to go ahead and steam it first. Okay, and now let me go ahead and just put it on there. There we go. Yeah, see, I, I feel like I did need a little bit more room in there. That's right. So, take that off. I'm not going to kill you with my hair here. And now, see, I've got a few wrinkles in there. 
I'm gonna work those wrinkles out real quick. Just smooth those. I'm not sure what causes those little wrinkles there, but they always seem to make their way in. Spray it. And I have probably worked with these creases and turns and points on this hat several times. So there's at this point a lot of stiffener worked into the felt of this hat that has uh, gone in, hardened, dried, come back out. Now um, I'm going to just do this crease one last time. See if I can give it any more definition than it has. So I'm gonna run my steam in on this side. I'm gonna do both of these at once. In this top front center. Come in over on this side. Okay, now I'm really going to kind of crease this in a little bit. And I like to take my finger and kind of slide on the inside there. I've seen people use rolled up towels. Whatever helps you get the form you want, I guess. That's what you need to do. I just gave that a lot more definition, I think. That look, yeah. Now, take your hardener. You wanna get the hardener on both sides. That side just keeps getting a little more definition right there. I'm trying to match it. Could just be the lighting in this room. Now I'm not gonna put this on my head or do anything with it until it's completely dry because um, I want these creases and everything to dry exactly the way that I've put them together. To get a little more definition on this part, And come in and just kind of pinch this together right in there. Give it a good pinch. We'll give it a little more definition. Now, when you first put this together, after you kind of take your hat and create that center crease, and you build up this backside, you actually want to build this backside up a little lower in the front side and then come back and kind of work, walk the front side down till you get the dip that you want in it. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I don't, I don't think I can do much better by hand than what I have done here. So I'm just gonna make sure it's got a good spray of stiffener. But you can see from uh, the back side here, the, the, the big thing with this, kind of putting the hat over the ball and just stretching that felt down around that hat and then spraying it with stiffener. I did that a couple times. It really got out all the creases. This hat was stepped on by a horse. It's been all over the place. There's like, you can't, you can't tell that it was squashed and flattened out before and before it, Without doing this, there was no way I could get rid of those creases. My brim, you know, I had all sorts of cattywampus things going on with my brim. I feel like I've gotten those all taken care of now. I feel like I have a nice shape to it. I may decide tomorrow I want to work on it some more after I put it on my head and have really have a chance to look at it. But I feel like I have a shape that I'm happy with. Um, the brim of this hat. It's been bothering me for quite some time, so that's kind of a big deal for me. Yeah, I mean, you can't tell that this hat 
It's the same hat that I started out working on. I hope that looks good. I can't tell. There's not a mirror there. <laughs>